Chow me Chow me sandwich Chow me Chow me sandwich Chow me Chow me sandwich Chow me So, chow mein sandwich, a sandwich that isn't so much a sandwich as it is a fried noodle dish. And what locals in the Fall River, New Bedford, uh, Massachusetts area, locals all grew up eating. We even had it in our school cafeteria. But what exactly is it? Well, it's what you would imagine it to be, a portion of fried noodles um, with brown gravy, often mixed with chicken, beef, pork, or any other meat and it's all served on a regular hamburger bun. A no frills hamburger bun, not even one with sesame seeds. But the sandwich is more than a local favorite. It's, it's got its own history, and a lot of that history points to immigration and the textile uh, laborer workforce in the Fall River, New Bedford area. So that this sandwich actually rose in its uh, apparent uh, well, I guess the sandwich just kind of rose and became popular back in the 30s. Now, if you're not familiar with the Fall River, New Bedford area of Massachusetts, it was very factory rich way back in the 30s and probably through the mid to later 70s. And those factories brought immigrants from all over Europe and many of the Chinese who were coming in from the West Coast and also coming to those factory rich cities to find opportunities to open businesses. It turned out to be the perfect marriage. In a unique way, the Chinese uh, population introduced the immigrants um, who were from Europe, and you know they were from Portugal, they were from Poland, many came from French Canadian um, territories to the north. Um, the Irish were here in the New Bedford Fall River area. They didn't know what chow mein was. They didn't know what Chinese food was. But you know what? They knew what a sandwich was. And they knew, well, they knew that it was filling, delicious, and back then, when it first came out and first started and first started feeding the workers from the factories, about five cents. So it was pretty cheap. Um, anyway, a sandwich made the entire Chinese cuisine somewhat accessible to those who weren't familiar with it, and it grew from there. But the dish is classic. But who makes the better sandwich here, now that we're talking about this nearly 80 years from its inception. Well, today we're going to try three different chow mein sandwiches. Um, we're going to try a chow mein sandwich from what many consider to be the most authentic and the best, and certainly the one with the longest history, Mi Sum in Fall River. We're also going to try chow mein sandwiches from a place called Phoenix in Fall River. And last, another Fall River local favorite, China Sales. We're going to get Chinese chow mein sandwiches um, we'll try both chicken, beef. I think all of those places have a chicken and beef version. We'll try one of each and then we'll let you know who makes the best. And before I finish this video, um, it would be really great if you could take a minute and in the, in the comments section, let us know where else we should go try chow mein sandwiches. Dwayne and I love chow mein. We love chow mein sandwiches. And we're starting with these three for today's uh, taste test. But I'm sure, I'm sure it would be fun to do a lot more. So stay tuned. Dwayne's off picking up the Mi Sum. I think I have China sales getting delivered. And we're going to be back with the sandwiches and back to tell you what they taste like. Hi, everyone. Okay, so Dwayne is on his way back from Mi Sum, but there's been a slight change of plans. A um, couple of the places that I was planning on ordering the China, uh, chow mein sandwich from aren't delivering or aren't delivering here to where I live today. So instead of Phoenix, we have um, uh, Golden Star Chinese, also in Fall River, because today's uh, theme is Fall River Chinese restaurants. And the other one is the number one Chinese restaurant in Fall River. Uh, both are on the Yelp lists for some of the best chow mein sandwiches in the city. So those are the three that we're going to try today. Ooh, I'm so excited. The first of the chow mein sandwiches has arrived from the um, number one Chinese restaurant in Fall River. Wow, I mean, 
I ordered this barely 20 minutes ago and it's here, it's piping hot. My whole kitchen is already smelling of chamois. Can't wait. So I'll put that there. Still have the order being delivered um, from the Golden Star Chinese restaurant. And then of course, Dwayne will arrive with me some. Can't wait. All right. And Dwayne has just arrived with the misum and about, what, 30 seconds? The Golden Star restaurant delivered theirs. And as I said earlier, we have the one from the number one Chinese. But let's, let's look at a little bit at what's already in common. All these Chinese restaurants have a, have a nice day bag. <laughs> they all like the smiley face. Yeah. They all like the, the smiley, smiley face. face. is very popular. So we're going to um, unbox these on camera in just a second, but Dwayne, any thoughts on which one you might like more? Uh, me some is the original. They were the ones, they've been on Phantom Gourmet, they've been on show, big shows, so I'm voting for me some. Um, before? Before tasting, tasting anything, I'm saying the one that people have actually already televised, that's got my vote. So, but I'm hoping it'll change. So you're saying these two have to fight it out with me some? I think so. All right, we'll be back. We'll unbox and show you what they look like when packaged, and then we'll do the, the tasting. Sounds good. We'll be right back. Okay, Dwayne's unpacking okay. the this package. This is number one Chinese. I see we got some egg rolls with it. And they wouldn't comes... deliver unless I went over a certain... Yeah, amount. we all have to be at a minimum. So that's, I'm not going to open them. I'll just leave them closed for now so they stay a little warm because it takes a minute. I'm pretty sure that this is Golden Star, right? Yes, it is. Now that, see, now they put 84, 87. I don't know what that means. So these guys put beef. I know what that means. <laughs> and CK. So at least these guys definitely made it clear what's on there. Uh, shrimp toast. That's right. Of it. Again, like meet toast. the minimum. And what? Oh, the little extras. Enough what? sauce for 10 meals. Okay. Yep. Typical, of, typical Northeast Chinese restaurant. We're going to have a lot of duck sauce, a lot of soy sauce left over by the time we're all said and done here. Now the last one, uh, okay, everybody did give a little fortune cookies. This is really big. You know what? I'm just going to open that up. Look how huge this is. This is me some. Oh, wow. That is massive. So, okay. And you've already peeked at the misum before you peeked at the other two. I just want to say. I do like that they gave us, uh, that's our local Town Talk bread. <laughs> they, yeah, they don't they, buy the bags they, there. They just put it in that bag. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is as big as it gets. I mean, this oh, wow. is massive. That's enough for four people. We are not going to finish what we've got. So just so but, people have an idea. Yeah, while, while we're doing it, I'll, I'll open up these other these, ones too. So you can get a peek the at the other side. Golden Star. And this, this is, is the Golden beef chow mein. Which looks much drier than this is a lot of sauce. There's definitely less sauce here in the Golden Star. Okay. But we'll see. We'll see how that goes. No problem. I'm going to do the chicken as well. I'll open them all. Sure. Yeah, once again, not nearly the sauce that we have in miso. And lastly, well, this is very similar to Golden Star. This is the number one Chinese. Okay, they number both one Chinese. Were very similar. And this is just overwhelming from me some. Okay, so we're going to get ready to um, put them on plates or to get a couple of forks, and then we'll do the taste test. Um, so everyone understands what we did was we got one beef chow mein sandwich and one chicken chow mein sandwich from each of the three restaurants. We'll be back in a minute to give those a try. And we have now plated all of the chow mein sandwiches. Gotta say, Dwayne, we got a lot more for our money from Misum. Those containers are still filled with noodles and sauce. See that? And, and the plates are overflowing. It was $15 for the two sandwiches from Misum. It was about the same, actually a little less for the other ones because I had to order something to bring it past the minimum for delivery. So they're about five ninety-five. Okay. At the other restaurants, and what was Misum? So that would have been seven fifty at Misum, but I think they threw in extra stuff, everything except okay. the bread. 
So right. these are what the sandwiches look like. Just so everyone knows, there is on the left, the beef. On the right, the chicken. This one here, number one Chinese. Yeah. Again, left beef. Beef, chicken for the Golden Star Chinese restaurant of Fall River. And Mi Sum, the famous, original, probably in business since 1940 or 50 or something, right? Um, oh, yeah. The beef it, and the chicken. It is okay. the same original owners and family running Mi Sum. It's a, the woman there, we spoke with her one time. She was there from the time that they opened it, and she's quite the senior at this point. Okay, so Dwayne, let's have you, you do... You want me to taste each and go right down the line? And just tell me what... Well, let's start with the miso. Tell me what you think of the chicken and of the pork. Okay, so I'm not even going to worry about the bread so much. I'm just going to get some of their chow mein. So it's the nice flat noodles. I notice on everybody has the, the nice flat. Fall River style noodles from the Oriental Chinese Noodle Company in Fall River. Makers of the Hu Mi brand, correct? Yes. Oh, one thing I want to make sure people understand. In Fall River... Okay. The best way to have it is to top it off with a little vinegar. That's the chicken chow mein, That's Wayne. That's what it's missing, but I'm going to just taste it as is, as you get it from the restaurant. It's got a very, it's the flavor I'm really used to getting, this taste, the way it tastes. But we've just grown so accustomed to putting vinegar on it. But it is, it's very nice, it's not a strong, it's not a very strong flavor. It probably could be a little more salty. Hmm. But... You know what? Um, that's okay. I, I still say I like it. I do like it. It's very saucy. The noodles are very soft, and it may be related to the extra sauce that they put on. We'll see if any of these noodles are crunchier as we go. Now I'm going to take a bite of the beef, from also from Misam. Mm. The beef's a little bit chewy, but nice. Has a little bit more salt in here. Um, also, just as saucy. Big chunks of celery, big chunks of onion. Um, the onion's very crunchy, not overly cooked. The celery was actually kind of tender, but I like the crunchy onions, but that's just my personal preference. But once again, uh, the sauce is the same. It's just the meat was cooked a little differently and the beef definitely comes through with a bit more salt. Uh, this is now Golden Star. There's a slight tang that isn't in the miso. It's actually really nice. It's a nice little addition. It's almost like they Maybe added a touch of vinegar or something similar. Salt level is about the same. And surprisingly, I was almost expecting that the noodles might be a little more crisp, but they're not. They're actually just about the same texture on, from both restaurants. And now I'm going to try the beef. I see it has a lot of celery mixed in with this one. Some more onion. Let's see if I can get some of the meat. This celery has more crunch to it than the celery I had from Nissan. Um, actually, there's a difference here. I like the chicken more at Golden Star than the beef. I'm not sure. I'm going to let Nadia see what she has to say about it. But I really think that the chicken was a little better. The sauce seems about the same, but maybe they seasoned the chicken a little better than they did with their beef. But I do like that there's still a little bit of crunch left to the celery and that it isn't just cooked to death. And it's good. So finally, this is our number one Chinese, the last one, also out of Fall River. And this is the chicken, although I'm looking for chicken. Might have to lift the bun up and let us show people how much chicken is in there or not. There is some chicken over here. Okay. Very, very tender chicken. Very plain. Not nearly as well seasoned. I think as far as chicken seasoning goes, so far, of the three, Golden Star did the best job of it. Uh, the noodles are 
slightly more chewy. They're a little drier than either of the other ones. This is the driest of the three. But I do like the flavor of the sauce. So the sauce is a little better. The chicken, not quite so much. At least from my opinion. And finally, we'll try this beef. Finally, I'm going to try the beef from Number One Chinese. Mm. The beef isn't as chewy. It's got a good flavor. I like their beef, I think, the best, and their chicken the least. Whereas, I like the, um, overall, I really like the, I'm still kind of sold on the original Mi Sung, but I did like the tang that came with Golden Star. So, for me... Don't vote yet. I have I to try it too. I will save my vote, okay, till Nidia's had a chance to go through as well. And we're going to vote for the best chicken and the best beef, so they're two separate they chow mein. Are perfect. Because my votes are different. Okay. All right. All right. Back in a flash. Chicken from Golden Star. I do like the sauce on this, but the pieces of chicken, smaller. I don't see as much chunk of onion. And I don't really see a lot of celery. So that's the chicken. The chicken is tender. Do you notice a little bite that wasn't present in the misum? I thought there was a little bit of a extra flavor of something. Yeah, in. I would say misum has a more earthy flavor. It's more of your traditional this flavor. a little more of a lilt maybe from some white pepper or from some... Something. They added a little, they changed yeah, they the sauce a little. Soy or something. The beef tastes almost like the chicken. I'm going to try the meat just to compare the meat that I had in the beef chow mein sandwich from misum. Much more tender. I thought so too. These are good. They're, they're solid. They're nice, yeah. I don't believe I've ever eaten that number one Chinese. I have not had their chow mein sandwich I actually either till today. This used to be a buffet before they closed down buffets due to COVID. Really crunchy vegetables. The like vegetables the are nice and crisp still. Yep. The chicken is good. The sauce is kind of eh, flat for me. Get some beef. Mm. Tender. That beef was the most tender, I think. So, but how did you think on the flavor on that one? These were a little blah. This was flavorful. These had a uniquely earthy, different type of flavor than any of the others. This one has a slightly sharper flavor to it. I will say this. I don't like any of these as much as I would normally because I did not eat them with the vinegar. That I know I would never eat this without topping it off with vinegar, but that's just me. Okay, so we'll, we'll come back later and tell you what we think and which one wins, okay? Thank you. Hey folks, we're back. Mm -hmm. Hey. And we've decided which ones get our vote for the best chow mein sandwich in Fall River. And don't forget, this is just round one. Let us know where we should go try eating chow mein around the city and around the Bedford, anywhere. Um, so, Dwayne, you all set? Oh, yeah, absolutely. All right, and so we'll let you go first. Okay, well, um, for me, I, I think the absolute number one was actually the Golden Star Chicken. And out of all the sandwiches? Out of all the three. I liked their chicken. It was tender. It had a good flavor. And that was the one for my first place. And then my second was actually the number one Chinese beef because... It was really tender, had some good flavor seasonings, and the veggies with it were also still really crisp and really nice. And surprisingly, uh, Mi Sum took last place in all the categories. And that the only thing I can say about Mi Sum is it is the one let's that not reminds tell, let's, me let's not tell the auntie <laughs> of okay. the flavor I remember growing up. But these other two, they each had one that placed higher for me. Okay, so um, my votes were a little different. I preferred the Mi Sum chicken once I put the vinegar on it to any of the other um, sandwiches, but my favorite beef sandwich was the one from uh, Golden, Golden Star. Yeah, so fun. Golden Star's beef was flavorful. The sandwich didn't come with a lot of beef, but the beef that was there was really good. 
And you know, surprisingly, their sauce was really good as well. I think Misum has the most earthy sauce, the one that kind of makes you think of being six years old and getting it in first grade at the cafeteria in school for lunch. And um, I would say the number one Chinese, not bad at all. I guess that means you can't get a bad chicken chow mein or beef chow mein sandwich in Fall River, right? I guess so. Although I will say also, add on the beef from number one Chinese, they were a little skimpy on the beef. Other right. than that, it, it was very good flavor, nice and tender, but there just wasn't a lot of it. So, you know, all three places we tried made a really good uh, chicken and beef chow mein for the most part. You can't go oh, yeah. wrong. For a five, between five and six dollar meal, I couldn't even finish a one chicken chow mein sandwich. So it's a really good meal. <laughs> And Wayne, I, don't, I won't yeah. even tell you how many. <laughs> yeah, I finished uh, two. But let's put so. it this way. We have several chicken chow mein and beef chow mein sandwiches still left over. Oh, yeah. So if you like what you saw, let us know. Uh, if you have uh, watched any of these videos yet so far, or you're watching this one and you like it, please hit the thumbs up. If you hate it, tell your enemies. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. But if you want to subscribe to our channel, we'd appreciate it. And we love reading your comments. So thank you so much for watching and, you know, we'll try the next couple of places that you suggest for us to try. Thanks everybody for stopping by. Bye. Bye. Chow mein. Well, a bowl of rice with